here is how to finish off a sock monkey hat for the pattern written by Nicole Montgomery. The first thing you're going to do is find the back of your hat, and I can see this is the back because it has that little imperfect spot where my uh, where I started the new colors. So I go directly up from that, and that's my first edge stitch here, and mine is kind of loose because I haven't woven in my ends yet. This will be probably a little easier if you do weave in the ends before you start doing the edging. So you're going to put your uh, crochet hook in that first stitch going from the front of the hat to the back of the hat. Wrap your red yarn around it and you're going to pull it through the stitch. And then you go to the second stitch in the edge. Do the same thing. Wrap it around and then you're going to pull it through the red stitch that you had made before. I'm also going to tuck my tail in here so that I can weave that in as I go. Thank you very much to Kelly from Alberta, Canada for telling me that. She's one of my favorite test knitters and she's a lot of fun to correspond with. So she just sent me a little email giving me that hint and I appreciate that. Um, so I'm just going to keep on doing the same thing, putting my hook in from the front to the back, putting the red yarn on it from the back of the hat and pulling it through the gray stitch and then through the red stitch that I had done just before. So through the gray, hook the red, pull it through. Through the gray, hook the red, pull it through both stitches. So each time that's all I'm doing. And it just makes this lovely little chain. So anyway, if you are a non-crocheter like me, you can still use crochet to do this cute little edge. Oops. And if you're doing it correctly, you'll end up with an edge that looks like that. And the stitches are just a little inconsistent because of the tension once you pull that tail. And I can futz with it a little bit with a yarn needle and make this, uh, this first stitch turn out the same size as the rest. But anyway, you just go around one side, go up and back down each ear flap, and you'll eventually come all the way around. You'll meet back up with this first stitch that you did. And once you weave in the ends, that'll look a little bit more like the rest of the stitches. So once you come up here with the red uh, edging yarn, you're going to pull the tail up when you have that last stitch. And then you're going to poke it back down with a yarn needle and weave it in on the back. And then you'll have this edge going all the way around your hat. So you too can crochet. If I can do it, you can too. Good luck.